we've got our show page now and we want to make it reflective of the gig that we're on. So instead of all of this hard-coded data, all this hard-coded information, we truly wanted to show the information of that gig. So let's go ahead and start making some changes here. So first and foremost, this should not be front-end web developer. It should be the name of the gig. So this is our show page that we created. And actually, before we start getting into that, let's get rid of all of this template. All of this template, templating uh, code here that we don't need. Let's get rid of the body, JavaScript, footer, get rid of this client's area as well. Just only do a refresh just to see what it looks like. One footer. Okay, that's good. Now, we'll keep that about Google here for now, but front end developer. So this should actually be the gig name. So before we can actually put anything in there, let's go into our gigs controller and you'll see that we don't have any variable here. What we need to do is put at gig equals gig find clams ID. So go and find the gig with this ID. Now what we can do is say here add gig I believe it's just name. There you go. Testing. And I think that's what we called our gig. Actually pretty sure that's what we called our gig. Now we've got a few other things in here. Now let's just take a look at actually I'm gonna close out of all of this. Go back to show page. Now look at our schema and say, okay, we've got a description here. So where's that description? So legend description right here. It's in a paragraph tag. So let's just get rid of everything and put add gig description. We have our hello world, so that's good. We don't have an overview, so I think we can probably get rid of that because Berlin, Germany put that as our location gig location Denver good created created at and that's right here we'll say a gig created at it's going to give us long string right here and what we can do is say strf time and I believe we can month, day, and capital Y. Month, day, capital Y. Ah, keep it like this. There you go. Created on May 29th, 2015. So this strf time, this is a Ruby method that'll format your date. And you can format it however way you'd like. Uh, this is just what I chose. I believe if you put the lowercase b, it'll say May 29th. So let's actually do that. May 29th, day. Save it. There you go, May 29th, 2015. All right, and then let's go through the ton of different things here but I think we could be good for now this is good for now we can definitely format it more but before we start formatting it and putting more stuff on here I actually want to start building out a little bit more of the application so that the supply here will actually be functional so you can actually create a proposal here and then the skills if you remember in our schema we have a skills table here that hasn't really been built out yet. So we can put the skills somewhere right down here. So for now, I think that'll be fine. And actually, before we do anything, let's click on this job portal and it doesn't take us anywhere yet. So let's go into our header and change this out. So instead of that, it should be linked to Lancer root path 
class of f5 land. I'll have to get rid of that. Do we refresh? That goes to our home page. Good. So right now we don't really have a way for us to go to that gigs unless we actually type in or that gig. We don't actually unless we actually type in the URL directly. So I'm starting to think that the next best path for us to take is to actually make this part here functional. So right now this is all hard coded right now. In our next lesson, we'll actually make this functional so that it presents us with the gig that we actually created or all of the gigs that we've created. So that's what we'll do next.